Okay, welcome back to another episode. Um, I think today we're just going to try and get out of the cave, see what else there is to do in here. Um, stamina is looking a little bit low, but we've got we had a lot of fight in there, and we've got a potion that could renew that for us if we want to. Um, Nineteen out of thirty-two, so over halfway fatigued but let's see we go I don't know if there's going to be too many more tough fights in here um, I'm going to cast Glow which obviously uses stamina but only very little um, I'm not really sure what the rate of stamina regen is uh, I've got a feeling it only regenerates on the overworld Game doesn't like too many sharp inputs, you know, quick, quick, rapid inputs. What is that? Okay. Cave lizards. So we get on. We'll mop up the closest if we can. No, well, that doesn't look too bad. I wonder what their gimmick is. We'll hold there. Just step in and swing. Bit risky stepping in and swinging. Take a step back. I don't move very much. I'm going to take another step back and yeah. So I think it heroes are just unreal. Really well he did with that last blow. Okay, nothing there. Failings. Face a failing. Well, unless you're a hero, mate. You certainly put up enough of a fight. Dodging my blows. Hmm. Mushroom cavern. There's something here on the right. Not a friendly encounter. Giant rats. Okay. Right, we took some damage there. I'm not sure why. Guys are fairly agile. Well, they don't seem to have too many hit points. Uh, yeah. A bit risky, but we're going for it. Yeah, we mopped up. That worked out nicely for us. Victory. Hmm. Underground lake. Fungal creeps. I was just about to say I don't like this. I don't like the look of these. Then we're just going to go in. Yeah, this is definitely definitely time to leave. I'm going to come back here. Get some aid cast. Stamina's looking a little bit rough. See if we can find our way back. This is definitely the kind of uh, environment we need to map out. Huh. Think about this a little bit. Um, we take too many risks. I think we'll be okay doing this. Ooh. A 
hold it here. And more to this cave than I was suspecting. Another chest. Okay. No trap found. A tallow candle. Yeah, we'll keep that. Uh, a light axe. I'm interested. Uh, backpack's looking a bit shocker. Two to eight. Sharp damage. Oh. It's an offhand throwing weapon. It's a light source. We know that. It's obviously not uh, the most effective one. The pine torch probably is. Let's examine this one. Unknown. What to pay to get that looked at then? Um, that's okay. Bottom of that cave. And the way out is this way. I believe. Might try it when I come back in here, going right. Uh, for now. Head back to town. Let's see if we can get that uh, item identified. I think Frode will do that for us. Identify. Party items are revealed. Okay. So, if I had a load of stuff in there that wasn't identified, I wonder if he'd do them all for five gold. It's okay. So, I. It's a Jasper Bauble. Got to be a foci, hasn't it? Cast Stepwatch. Okay. Not a foci then, but. Like an artifact. Interesting. Let's rid ourselves of some of this. I, I like the. Um, that's not the building I wanted. I'll come back here in a minute. I like the uh, the two-handed weapon, the gnarled pine. So we'll. I think it's safe enough for us to to sell the buckler, <laughs> but not like that. The Oak Club. We'll keep the energy and the medicinal ales. We'll sell the light axe. I'll use that tallow candle. 302 coins. So that's reasonable. That's respectable, I think. Um, with that, we're going to buy some more arrows, definitely. I don't think there's anything else we need from there. I wonder if the um, the item uh, explanation text examination screen is going to include within shops as well. It'd be nice to to look at that. Right, okay. Leave. Uh, we'll go and get. Do you know if I speak to? Road again. Where am I? Uh, Alpthorpe, failings. No. So the failings are still a threat, it seems. Don't know if the mayor feels any different. Ah, okay. So, what can I do for you, the failing king? Well, that will slow them down a bit, I hope. Thank you so much. Please take this reward of 200 crowns. May it help you in your travels. There we go. There we go. That's a nice reward. Still don't know how to get out of this area yet. So we're still we're still around Alpthorpe. For the foreseeable. We'll have a drink. The innkeeper leads you to a large common room with a roaring fire full of people drinking and talking. Everyone relaxes and enjoys a nice mug of ale. You overhear the following. An old veteran warrior said to write down all that you hear or read. See, I do need to keep notes. And it does say to keep notes. My memory is not terrible, but um, it's always worth 
jotting stuff down. I need I need to get a, a pad next to me, I think. Uh, we shall rest. The innkeeper leads you to a small room. The beds are small but warm. Everyone gets a good night's sleep, everyone being me. Reset homing stone? I have no idea. I, I suppose so. Okay, leave. Fair travels. Health is still looking a little bit on the rough side, but... Do you know what? We'll indulge. Maybe I should have done that last night before I went to sleep. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Save the game? Those mushrooms were pretty tough. Um, we're level 2. Our health has gone up by 2 points, I believe. We've gained nothing in attributes. I'm not even sure if you can. I think items modify it, but I don't think you can otherwise. Money's looking good, obviously. Need to find someone to train some of this stuff up. I think Alpthorpe is a very limited town. Uh, let's go see if this guy's got anything else to say now that we've taken out the failing king. Miserable scrot. No, he just answers with a piss off. Hmm. Not a very nice man. What is even the point of him? Okay. Uh, we can try the cave again and we can have a look over this way. See the side of the woods on that northern part of the lake. And we have another river feeding into the lake here. Some more hills. I've not been up here. So the uh, quick peek, so there's nothing that way, it's where the river's coming down out of the mountains, but we do have oh do we want to do we want to no, not just yet I'll take my time with this a little bit I think this is Swampland on the left. Let's see uh, if this will tell me anything. So and that's another thing. Maybe maybe this this got some great help. Uh, so you've got the controls, you've got the state icons, you've got item icons. Maybe some terrain on another screen there. I don't know. Um, what I can do is reference the... Uh, where's that gone? It's a bit of a pain on Steam, which is where I bought it because... I have to go back into Steam prop or, or browse into the Steam directory, but local files, browse. If, if something like this was on, God could suit something like this down to the ground because, of course, it's got much easier access from the Galaxy Launcher to, to all these kind of documents and things. Uh, reference card. What have we got? It's in black and white. And it is just those. It's those same things that are on the uh, the H screen. Uh, so, full instruction manual. Oh, there's a map as well. Which I like. It's nice. It reminds me of Spiderware software stuff. So perhaps produced on similar software or inspired by, I'm not sure, but uh, I, like the, I like the map. Realms of, Tal of Talanua. Still not used to saying that way. Um, so, Travel mode, terrain, 15, page 15. Uh, terrain types, yeah, I suspect that's swamp. It doesn't show me. There might be an appendix that does. Uh, but I'm not going to waste any more time looking for it here, so. Uh, let's just avoid it. We don't want to be tri Oh, what's that? What have we got? Fly swarms, well, I'm sure arrows will be highly effective. Oh. Oh. I knew they would be. Fly swarms. 
So it looks like certain enemies generate around certain types of terrain, maybe. They've got good movement. Ooh. Yeah, we could do with that. Yeah, well, we'll reset that. It's easy to get lulled into uh, sticking it out. Oh, I actually hit for no damage. Yeah, they did try it. Difficult to hit. And difficult to injure when you do. I'm kind of employing some hit and run tactics with them. Not too bad, but yeah, a little bit tricky. 20 experience, that's good. Uh, out of interest, what do we need for the next level? I didn't look at that, so we're about a third of the way there. Ha! Huh. This chap I fought before. A bear. And I just went toe to toe with him, and I beat him, but it was close, and it's not the most sensible technique to use. So, put a couple of arrows in him. He's not the fastest, but he does hit really hard. I beat him much better this time, just just by not standing toe to toe. Uh, I think that, yeah, there we go. So there is another cave here. Not been in this one. This is basically now. Now I've done more than I did when I, I dabbled in it. So uh, we're not going to cast. Actually, I'm going to try the candle. The party is illuminated. Interesting. Kind of looks like a sunfish. What is that? Is that a boat? That is a boat. I see. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, a sunfish. It's it's a like a canoe sort of thing with uh, oars or. Very cool. Oh. I do need to map. I really do need to map. Just gonna sit in the boat and see where it, he says and see where it takes us I'm not following it very well what is going on here cave lizards let's see what we've got here bandits Curious. Okay. Let's start the attack. We don't know how many action points they've got yet, and we're backed into the river. The map is actually, if you look at it, the combat arena is is um, shortened on two sides. They don't move too much. We can step in, but they are pretty pretty tough. Easy to get stuck. Yeah, they're pretty tough. Well, that did the trick. That was a good shot with the bow. I think that's pretty much top damage on the bow. Yeah. These guys are going to want to close with us as fast as possible. That's not going to be enough for him this time. There's a door. 
not really interested in fighting the cave lizards there just yet. I am very curious about what's in that door. Save the game. The bandit captain. Okay. I don't really expect to find any uh, any bosses here, but we're going to focus on him a little bit. And we're also uh, no, 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 no. Didn't mean to do that. We give ourselves some space. Just going to keep peppering him. He's going to have to close with us. And we're going to give him two strikes and move. Two strikes. And move. Step up, strike. Strike. And step back. Oh, that's what I wanted. Hold that there. Yep. Do really like the AP system. Did not count my hero coming through the doors. 40 XP. The chest, of course we're going to open it. Oh god, there's no trap. Right. An idle touchstone. Yep, we'll keep that. A sealed scroll, yes. A note club, yes. Now... We're not illuminated anymore, that candle barely lasted any time really, so... Enough stamina on it, we can throw out a... It's locked, it's locked. We killed the bandit king, but we can't get into his treasure room. And that is a great shame. Right. Ooh, curious. Save it again. I suspected as much. Where has that put us? That looks a little bit deeper than a lake, doesn't it? Hmm. Dogs. Wolves. I don't want to go there just yet, I don't think. Let's mix it up with these guys a bit. The hand of the hang of the combat a little bit. It's a little bit about knowing your enemies. Nothing really to see there. I do like this little bit of uh, jaunt along the river in the cave. I'm not going to fight those. Are they, uh, are they the mushrooms? They are, I think. We'll get the glow back out. I know I'm being save happy, but. Mm hmm that's what I suspected. Oh no, it's the rats, it's not too bad. Now oh, these guys do have a bit of AP. Uh, yeah. But they're not so tough. Of course, you could always miss them. So he hit me, but he didn't do enough damage to the reduction, I think. Won the day there for me with the ring mail. Not too challenging, not too bad. That's okay. A lot of combat in this one. Uh, but we did discover 
an untried potion, which we will attempt to identify now. It's revealed to be a medicine aisle, which we don't we don't need. All right. And away we go again. Uh, yeah, it feeds into the cave there, so we have to leave the boat. Shame we can't drag this out with us, really. Uh, trekking back. It's nearly half an hour, so what I might do is head back to Alpthorpe just sell off the stuff, prep for the next adventure. I wouldn't mind looking now. Uh, well, we can, we, we've got two choices. We're going to finish that cave off that the, um, the Failing King was in, or we can head out to the northeast um, and see what that, that tunnel was about. I'm not sure what that terrain is, actually. Um, and then it turns to kind of almost like ice way through so we've got that decision we can make maybe finish that cave off first make sure we mop up this area I might even what I might do is off camera just go in and, and map it a little bit because it seems quite uh, extensive so here we are back at Alpthorpe It's running another way. What's the tavern? This is where we can sell our goods. Let's have a quick look over what we've got again. Um, three medicinal ales, an energy filter, a jasper bauble. Oh, okay, that idle touchstone. Let's take a look at that. So we don't know. Let's get that. Oops. Let's get that identified again. So we speak to Frode, talk about elders, and we identify. He takes some coin and tells us what we've got. And we have an eagle agate. Which casts magic eye. I don't know what either of those spells do. There is They do explain, I believe. We go back to the manual. Briefly, we've got... Magic page 10. I think there is some spells. Yeah, so Magic Eye briefly reveals the entire immediate area to view. And what was the other one? Uh, Jasper Bauble had um, Step Watch. Step Watch is not explained. 60 different spells available to the party in game. A short list of the most common. You'll have to explore and discover discover others on your own. So I mean, that's I don't mind the discovering, but some idea of what it what it does in terms of examining it would be nice because all I'm going to do is save the game, cast it, and then see what I did, uh, and then reload if I didn't like the effect. So just never mind. Right. Well, that's good. We've got two. Baubles. I don't know whether to keep that or not really. I, I might I might sell it to be honest, this one. Um, I just don't tend to use them. Items like this in games, I don't know why. Defensive glyph. Oh, before we do that, let's have a look at that. So that one could be really useful. Cast ward. Yeah. It's fairly obvious, I guess, in effect what ward might do. Damage resist or reduction. Not sure. But we'll keep hold of that. I'm gonna sell one of the ales, the club, and the two baubles, I think. Oh I'll just find out what step watch does. In fact we'll we'll try that now. Uh save the game. The party is step watched. A 
Okay. Is it f just a faster movement? I really don't know. I really don't know. I'll keep hold of it for now. Let's see. So we'll sell um, medicinal ale. That's interesting. Why did it do that? The Oak Club. The Eagle Agate. I'll have to be careful with the inventory if it's going to be shifting stuff around like that. Uh, we've got loads of gold. I wonder if we could buy a bigger backpack. That'd be nice. Um, I think that'll do us. What I wouldn't mind is knowing how many arrows I've got left. So what are those? 34. That's plenty, I think. I don't want to overdo it too much. Yeah. Yeah, fairly successful. Killed a bandit uh, leader. Explored another cave, took out a bear. We know we've got some way out on the mountain pass there, so it'd be interesting if that's the only route through into this little sort of idyllic area. Yeah. Okay. Well, next time we'll go and explore that other cave, I think. Uh, I might map it, I might not. Might just wing it. We'll see. Right, thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.